Thanks and welcome to another Coach's Preseason Show here on Open Spaces Sports. Brought to you by Farm Governor Western Kansas. Joining us is Coach Runnick, the head football coach of the Rollins County Buffaloes. Coach, uh, what do you expect this year for the Buffs? I expect a lot of uh, excitement on the football field with a lot of young kids playing for or fighting for playing position this year. So, All right, folks, if you want to learn a little bit more about the Buffaloes of Rollins County High School, which offers a rich tradition in high school football, just go to OpenSpacesSports.com. Well, Coach, let's talk a little bit about your team. Uh, uh, as you reflect uh, back from a year ago and you look ahead to this year, uh, every coach looks for leadership. Uh, who do you look for for leadership this year? This year we have a tremendous group of seniors. We've got six seniors that will be on the squad. Um, some younger, uh, some juniors and sophomores that I expect will step up and fill a leadership role to help uh, guide the team throughout the season. What kind of numbers do you think you'll have there uh, uh, for this season coming up? We had 27 kids check out gear um, this week. So six seniors and two uh, freshmen, so our, our sophomore and junior classes are, are pretty heavy for us. With those kind of numbers, uh, do you see yourself as a favorite in the Northwest Kansas League race? I mean, it looks like probably St. Francis, Oberlin, and you guys uh, would have the most numbers as far as the league is concerned. Uh, Sharon Springs, I'm not sure where they're at necessarily, but with those kind of numbers, does that give you an edge? I think it gives us an edge in the fact that we can practice every day and have a good practice squad as well as play JV games every week. So I, I hope that we have an edge with the quality of kids and you know, I hope us coaches put them in the right position. But um, I think being able to practice with a full squad, um, some teams don't get to do a full scrimmage squad and practice. So I think that, that does give us an edge just in numbers. What about uh, the style of play? You want to run the football and establish the running game or you want to Maybe uh, maybe equal it out with passing a little bit or not? This year we are going to try to throw the ball a little bit more than we have in the past. Usually we're six to eight passes per game, but we have a different, uh, maybe a different style of coaching for going into this year, and we'll always pound the ball and run it hard, but, you know, I think hope to use a little bit more play action passing and, you know, hope to maybe a little more deceptive this year. Have you taken a look and thought about your district and how that lines up and where you might fit into that or not? You always looked at the schedule in the district and going, in, you know, coming out of last year. Um, it's going to be tough to even imagine because there's several new coaches in the district this year, so who knows where teams are going to end up. But I think it's a, it's a goal for us to, we really want to win the league championship this year um, as well as the district championship. I think the kids have the goal and the mindset to do that. You know, when you take a look at rivalries, as I stand back over Atwood and and now Rollins County, it's been that way for several years when Herndon came over. But uh, over the course of uh, 30, 40 years, uh, one of the, uh, there were, it seemed like there were like three rivals yeah. really for Atwood. I think it was always Colby and Goodland Good were, were uh, easy to get up for for the Buffs. But really the rival was St. Francis. Is that still the way it is? It's still that way. Um, there's been a little bit of coaching changes going on through, we, we play for a Yoke Bowl every year, a kind of a traveling trophy. Um, I would like to try to get that going a little bit more and put a little more meaning to it. But St. Francis and Oberlin are always going to be, that's, that's the two big rivals now. So They used to always be at the end of the season. That's not the case anymore, though, is it? Right now, they're pretty much, I guess, toward the end. They're kind of more, more in the middle of both games. But we play both games on the road this year, which makes it even tougher. Sure. Well, listen, uh, good luck to you as you open up a new season here just a week or two away, and, and uh, the high school football season is upon us. Uh, good luck to your Buffalo teams, and I know that we'll be covering you on numerous occasions. Thank you so much, Rich, for all your support. All right. Coach uh, Arrenic joining us, the head coach of the Rollins County Buffaloes in Atwood. Brought to you by Farm Carter, Western Kansas, many businesses throughout the Atwood uh, and Rollins County area. Thanks for joining us.